FAU Stadium, located in Boca Raton, Florida, the house that Howard Schnellenberger built, opened in October of 2011. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The Florida Atlantic is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Man, that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at about the 45. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Tackle at the 47-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Gets it out quickly. And they push him out at the 48-yard line. He's at the 30, makes it to the 31. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He's taken down around the five-yard line. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Sometimes when you throw it that hard, you can't control the accuracy all that well. He'll get it under control, though, in time. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. the PAT. An 11 play, 74 yard drive and it's good for 7 points. So our score, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the 5 yard line. At the 30. And he has it on the corner. And down he goes at the 50. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That's good. 
Now he pitches it. Drop down. Right around the 34. He has some room. He's at the 20. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. And he's level at the 15. Lost of five yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. From the 15 yard line, second down. Black five, black five, X, and he carries the ball for a nice game. out to the tailback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the two. That screen gets around six. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away. And he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. First down. Marshall is up by four. Fires it out, and he tackles him hard at the 46. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First down. quickly and he's got his man there's a very impressive open field tackle about six yards on the play well he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch got some open field and he is drilled at the 45 out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 34. Call it a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. I got one, I got one, I got one. I see you. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. Marshall leads 7-3. Back tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Marshall is up four. Got a man wide open.
open and it goes through his hands. Third down and they need to get it to the 24. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it. Room to work. That's a great tackle at the 17-yard line. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise and being able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. The 10. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Now he's going to run and watch out. And down he goes around the 35-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Lost a four on the play. That makes it second and 14. Number four is in second goal. down and 14. Ball on the 31 yard line. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And he's tackled in the open field. Shoved out of bounds at around the 48-yard line. Change your quarterback, Kirby. Got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. And he hits him hard at the 43. That's a deep That brings up second and one. A lot of concern from his teammates with a guy down on the field. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Hey, check mark 46. Check mark 46. Here we go, here we go. Run on! He fights forward to about the 40. Receiver dropped it incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Good tackle there in space. deep and he got it touchdown Florida Atlantic and they had a 
tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. And he converts the extra point. The Owls tied in down there on the sideline. He's such a key ingredient in their offense, both in the running game and the passing game. And hopefully he'll be able to get back in this ball game. Taken from the 10. He got hit hard. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Marshall holds a four-point lead. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Zips it to the tailback, incomplete. There's a flag down, and this most likely is going to be on the defense. That penalty drives them back, Still and they're second. shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Steps out of bounds around the 21-yard line. As long as they're making completions and positive yards when they go to the air, then it can't be too bad of a play. Chucks it downfield. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. From their own 34-yard line, first down. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48. Gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on. Number 19, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. He gets to about the 41-yard line. And he's got the junior. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. First down. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. From the 17-yard line, first down. Makes it to the eighth. Florida Atlantic will take their second time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Receiver, but it's knocked down. Number 88, the intended receiver. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackle at the seven. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball.
Got his tight end touchdown. He hit the big tight end for six on that one. As a quarterback, you like the tight end inside the 10 yard line because they have a knack for finding the opening. And then you can just drill it in there. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. To review, to review the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Lord Atlantic with a two-point advantage. And he adds the extra point. So a nine-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 17-14. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From the center. They'll bring him down at the 27th. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. some time and he's tackled at about the 35 he's on the run he's taken down the 37 yard line they need to do a better job of managing the clock here you're right Fred not only was that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up but also as you mentioned in terms of all the time that may be wasted At the 31 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Hand off inside. Brought down around the 34 yard line. We played a half of football. FAU in front, 17-14. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin. We got a tight game here. And he'll return this one from the seven. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Florida Atlantic holds a field goal lead. He's tackled at the 31. Bring him down at the 32-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And he's tackled at the 39. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Now he's scrambling. 
And he's taken down at the 41. At the 46 yard line. That's good for a Gains his way to the 40 yard line. Incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. From the 40-yard line. Second down. Looks left. Picked off. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. Florida Atlantic is up by three. He makes his way to about the 45. Looking for his man, incomplete. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. That brings us fourth and three. And they're coming after this punter. He takes it in at the 14, and down he goes at the 22. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and 10. Caught out in the open. And down he goes, right around the 50. Number 26 with the tackle at the 50 yard line. First down. Throws to the back quickly, off his hands, incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 50. He scrambled. He's brought down in the open field. That's a game of ten. First down. Scrambling around, looking for the corner. And now he's going to run. And they make the stop right around the 28 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Mike 15. Mike 15. Jim Gill. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made around the 27 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Looks to the back and can't connect. 
Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Back up quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Complete, but he's wrapped up and he won't get it. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Kirk, good news. The guy that we saw go to the locker room with that injury earlier is back on the sideline, and I got to bet he's going to be back in the game soon. Room around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. Florida Atlantic has a three-point lead. hit immediately. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That makes it 37. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He would tackle immediately. Call the loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He makes it to the 38-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Caught with room to work. Good open field tackle. Number 26 on the tackle at the 49-yard line. First down. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. That's a kick. Number seven with the reception. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Owls with a three-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the 31-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And he's tackled at about the 21. First down. He's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 11. Passes 
and it's almost picked off. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 11-yard line. They'll go Brown. And he is drilled at the 10-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. and that was almost picked. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. That wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and he's got it. Big, big kick. It's up to the defense now to make some plays and hold on to this lead. Marshall ready to kick this one off. Taken at the five. Tackle made at the 26. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Makes the catch and look out, and he's level at the 38. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 38. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Gets to about the 37-yard line. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. That'll be a loss of one. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. catch and he's got nowhere to go less than three minutes in the game that's a great tackle at the 30 After the sack, it's now fourth and long. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And he's taken down at the 41 yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Here he goes. Complete. It's the junior, and he tackles him hard at the 50. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Brought down at the 
29 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Kill, kill, kill. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 14. From the 14 yard line, first down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Two, three, nine. It's the tailback. Touchdown, Owls. Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. Just over a minute left. And he tacks on the extra point. 
a five play 60 yard drive and the result seven points Brad how about the guys up front the offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throws the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off caught at the eight he's to the 20 lost the ball fumble and they finally tackle him at the 28 yard line any turnover is big but when you keep the other team's offense from even stepping on the field, you're making a statement about how badly you want to win this game. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Taken down at about the 15-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. So the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout. At the corner. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. Up by seven and looking at first and goal. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. one's in the books. The Owls come out on top. 24-17. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.